More than 80 years after it was first predicted, physicists have created metallic hydrogen, a mysterious form of hydrogen that could be capable of superconducting electricity without resistance at room temperature. Scientists have long suspected that hydrogen could exist as a metal in certain parts of the universe, but this is the first time metallic hydrogen has ever been created on Earth, and the material is even stranger and more fascinating than scientists imagined. This is the holy grail of high-pressure physics, says lead researcher Isaac Silvera, from Harvard University. It's the first ever sample of metallic hydrogen on Earth, so when you're looking at it, you're looking at something that's never existed before. The periodic table can be broadly be split up into two categories, metals and non-metals. Among many other properties, metals are lustrous, good conductors, and usually solid at room temperature, while non-metals have a dull appearance, and are poor conductors. As most of us learned at high school, hydrogen, the first element on the periodic table, is a non-metal. But back in 1935, researchers predicted that under certain conditions, this common and oft-studied element could have its atoms bind together so tightly, the material wouldn't just take on metallic properties, it could actually become a metal. But, those conditions aren't easy to achieve, they involved achieving incredibly high pressures at extremely low temperatures, which is why for more than 80 years, and despite numerous attempts, no one had been able to prove it was possible, until now. The most exciting part is we pressurized hydrogen gas to sufficiently high pressures, and we saw it convert into a metal, Silvera told Science Alert. Silvera has been trying to create metallic hydrogen for 45 years. The hydrogen went from being transparent, to non-transparent and black, and suddenly it became lustrous, he explained. We could actually see it become a metal. You can see this material, for the first time ever on planet Earth. This isn't just exciting as a proof of concept in the physics world, although it's definitely that. Metallic hydrogen has been the source of so much speculation over the years, because it's predicted to have some incredible properties. Most importantly, physicists think that metallic hydrogen could be a room temperature superconductor, which would mean the material could conduct electricity with zero resistance, and without having to be cooled to crazy temperatures first. We know of many superconducting materials already, we use them to create the powerful magnetic fields in our MRI machines and in maglev trains, but they're only capable of achieving superconductivity at temperatures below minus 269 degrees Celsius, which makes them expensive and non-practical for many purposes. If scientists could achieve that same superconductivity at room temperature, it would be huge, because it means we could create things like power lines that don't lose any electricity, between the power plant, and your home. Right now, the grid loses as much as 15% of its energy as heat, due to resistance. The material could also be the most powerful rocket propellant ever discovered, with incredible energy stored up in its bonds capable of blasting us to distant worlds. To be clear, the metallic hydrogen that Silvera and his team have created is only around 1 to 1.5 microns thick, and 10 microns in diameter, so it's tiny. And until peer review had confirmed that their sample was the real deal, they were hesitant to perform too many tests on it, so we have no evidence so far to suggest that the material is a superconductor. That's something that will be investigated in the months to come. But for now, we know the sample is real and it's been stable in Silvera's lab since October. Researchers have claimed that they've made the early stages of metallic hydrogen in the past, and even claimed evidence of metallic hydrogen itself. But these reports have never been verified. This latest claim will now have its chance to have holes poked in it by critics, but so far the sample has withstood all relevant metallic testing. To create the sample, the team trapped hydrogen gas inside a tiny diamond casket, chilled it to 5.5 Kelvin, and put it under incredibly high pressure. And when we say high pressure, we mean high pressure. Back in 1935, it was predicted that metallic hydrogen would emerge at 25 gigapascals of pressure. But Silvera and his team finally achieved it at pressures between 465 and 495 GPA nearly 20 times higher than initially predicted. For perspective, 1 GPA. 
equals 1 million kilopascals, and the average pressure at sea level on Earth is 101.325 kPa. The team quickly saw its appearance change, but to verify that what they'd created was metallic hydrogen, they used spectroscopic measurements, including measuring its reflectivity, and showed that what was originally a standard hydrogen gas, had transformed into an atomic metal. You can see the different atomic structure, 